Oh my god. And we back again on Real News. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm back, live and direct. I've been gone for a few days. We got the hottest show around, baby. I'm on the net. Y'all know. Um, we gonna give a huge shout out to the hottest drinks of the summer. <laughs> at Boy. least, at least for the taste. You know what I'm saying? Crown Apple. Crown Apple. That's for the taste buds. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's one of the hot drinks crown, of the summer. Crown, crown. Hot drinks of the summer. And then we got them whew, blue moon, baby. That's for the taste of a little good quality beer. Shout out D Brown. He one of them guys. Y'all know. It hot with one of the spoilers of the day, Stranger Things. So before we start reviewing that, man, how did, did you guys watch the show? Yes. Did you watch the third season? The whole Man. third season, I seen. It. Only that's the only season that I have watched. I'm not gonna lie, and honestly, to me, that show was wild and weird. There was a <laughs> lot of craziness going on, and everybody up in there was doing some stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a hot show. I've seen the first season, the second season, of course, I've seen the third season. I'm actually currently watching it again. Mm. Just to get what I missed, because you know the show happened so fast, you know. Right you in know, the day. Um, yeah, we went for that. Went by it. straight binge watched it. Watched you know, it in the whole day. Um, crazy think, show. Right. Go ahead, man. I think, Go ahead. I think if you get the concept of the whole show, that is a little dimension, a whole other dimension going on. We got aliens, monsters. Russians apparently kids are fighting. Everybody. It's everything going on. <laughs> um, Man, it's it's all over the place. The people who talking, you know. It's well, I wouldn't say that. It's all over the place. We had subtitles. It's all over the place, man. It's a crazy, wild show. You know, go check it out. Uh, Ben's watching the day, which was random, but you know the episodes just kept rolling so once they keep rolling there's no reason to stop them it was all pretty interesting so yeah. you know um you know, it was some crazy it was crazy now. it was it was a lot going on it's Too about much. a group of little kids right. dealing with aliens. one of the little kids got powers it's aliens she and monsters alien. it's a whole lot going it's on looking thing that's Expect the lot. Expect the lot. You go check it out. But you know what? I say go check it out. It's on Netflix. Right. You know, Stranger yeah, Things. Netflix. Easy, easy find. Pretty much everybody got Netflix, man. Um, I, I give it. I give it out of ten. I give it an eight. Especially if you're one of those binge watchers out there. I know all of you are. Right. You should come binge watch real news. Mm -hmm. but anyways, the only thing it was a, you know, there's a lot of unanswered questions about. Mm -hmm. Parents and yeah. why nobody to worry about these kids and dying. people was dying. People nobody was dying and it was. I mean, I mean, other than that, but you know that's TV show people stuff. People going missing. It happens. You know, happens. days. That's weeks, what they do in TV shows. They had a whole restaurant that these kids seem like they owned in the mall. You no, know, I mean it was. If you really dive, it was some unanswered questions, but the show, <laughs> the show was still very interesting. Uh, I'll probably give it a good um, a good 8. I think I could go with an 8 out of 10, too. It, well, it's interesting enough, um, especially if you watch the first um, first gotta, season so and second season. Guy. I'm going to give it a 6 because ah. it was too wild for me. You're not that it was <laughs> not, you know, interesting or not. It was just... Just a lot of wild stuff going on, but I can also say I only seen one season, so that's above average. I'm not gonna really, Six. I'm not gonna First clock season. my my right. you know my scale to it that hard. So I watch it again. I, I'll catch this, the first and the second, so I can really get a better understanding of it. Cool. Yeah, you, cool. wow, little kids, same same stuff though. Little kids just doing way too much than they should over the summer, having a good time. Yeah, parents. Older. Parents don't know where they at. It's just they older. They don't found the love interest. One kid, Russians. he's trying to fuck a damn uh, alien. He liked the alien girl. That ain't cool. It's cool. <laughs> I don't know if he was ever trying to do all that, but I ain't see that. Um, he, what what y'all think he was trying to do? 
Oh boy. Not us and by this. <laughs> Alright, man. So we gonna get them started. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you? We gonna get them started on the second. Stop. We got another nice little quick movie review for you, man. We gonna do that Spider-Man Far From Home. Very anticipated the next Marvel movie after Endgame, man. It was hot. Came out um, Tuesday right before the 4th. Yep. Big opening one. It was the biggest Tuesday opening ever, man. Broke records mm -hmm. um, yeah, like last. it did last time. So that was pretty cool. You know, we all got to check it out. And we're just going to, you know, give you some quick. It is spoilers before you, you know, keep watching. We're giving away spoilers, I believe, today. But um, we're going to let you know how we felt about yeah, the um, yeah. I am too. about the show. I mean, about the movie. Yeah. Start, right. start, start it off, Sos. I thought it was a great movie. Out of 10 already, I'm going to give it a smooth. <laughs> smooth. I'm a little hater. So 9.5, man. Ooh, I'm giving man. it a 9.5. Early. You, um, you going in with the numbers early. Right, you ain't give it. Right. The, the action was great. The characters, they kept they um everything they had to do in order for it to be a great movie, mm -hmm. I guess. Um, Zendaya, Zendaya told me not to spoil nothing, so I can't even... I ain't gonna really spoil the movie for y'all, but y'all should definitely go watch the hot movie. Y'all can spoil it though. I'm gonna give it a nine. You know, if the end credits was actually in the movie, it could be a ten because that'd have made the movie uh, so much better. You know, mm -hmm. in general, but you know, you, you gotta wait till after all, you know, five minutes to see the end credits. So you know, I'll be out there mad then by then. But you know, the end credits kind of good. But the, basically, the whole movie though. They go into London, you know, they meet some guy, he think he from another dimension, yada yada, he lying basically. He trying to steal some tech, basic Marvel movie things, and Spider-Man comes on, on top in the end. Cool. Normal stuff. Um, I thought it was another good movie, man. I'm going to give you the numbers at the end. But um, very interesting movie. I thought the um, characters, the way they brought it back. Um, obviously, with the most of the kids being, or all of the main characters, all his friends being disappeared for the five years, so they was dealing with stuff like that, and um, young people they knew growing up, um, they Getting age, and people and that used to be their age are grown, and they don't know, have contact anymore, so it was interesting. They definitely brought that dynamic in right after Endgame. Um, they brought in, basically, all the results of the end game with um, some deaths and some um, people kind of fading away and um, new heroes needing to step up. Yeah. So that was the main point of the um, basically the villain's point, which we think is a friend at the beginning. He wants he becoming that new hero, right. and um, with Spider Man still being a teenager, he actually was okay with somebody else taking over that role um pretty Basically much Basically looking for another mentor since iron man was you know is dead so he was looking for a mentor and that guy was filling a role for a little while until he got what he wanted from him right 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 he was he was okay with somebody else doing it you know uh he was given the power to take over and chose not to gave it to somebody else so that was another dynamic obviously had to fight get it back you know they had a great uh mysterio scene man it reminded me of the comics and oh, the, yes. um, the old video game uh, video game yeah. it was it was a nice scene you know it was a good feel to the movie had all the elements a few other characters um from the marvel universe and of course some good um the effects in credit scenes were at the, at, great, at the end right 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 as always you'll um, never know what's real and what's fake like it's crazy right right the plot was it was good it was a well thought out plot it was actually a little different from a mysterio plot because it was based in like a 2019 era so i thought the way they did that was pretty cool i i didn't predict it myself how they did it so it was um Nice little twist, even though I knew the twist, but I didn't know, you know, the details of it. So right. that was pretty cool. Um, a lot of good things about the movie. I like the characters. I like how everything basically went out. Yeah, a lot numbers, of good man. scenes. Um, out of 10, I'd probably give it a, like a, just a little solid 9.5 or something. Yeah, some, some real love. I don't cool. I ain't think nothing too bad of it. Um, they played everything in pretty good. <coughs> All the characters in pretty good funny stuff yep. romance obviously teenager in love and he's trying to 
still yeah, be Spider Man. So it's you know, you know it's, it brought the element into it. So it's a great movie. Uh, definitely would tell you to go check it out. Go watch it, man. I'm excited to see what's up next for Marvel Universe. Um, that was the last movie of the year, too. So Right. right. And we got to wait till they announce Phase 4, which I feel like they might be doing Ooh. soon. What you say? Phase 4. The next phase. Okay. I mean, I don't know if they're going to call it that. They say they're going to do away with phases. So who knows what they're going to... The next, you know, journey will be. All right. It might just be movie list. Be movie name. So. Right. But either way, they're soon. I can't wait for the list, though. Right, so the announcement should be coming um, this summer, basically. I about think it was what Comic Con coming headed. up. Yeah, th- during this summer, they should announce it. Um, at some point during they have the a summer. panel, so they're definitely gonna announce something. So. All right, the NBA season is over, man. So the next big Tragic. sport for us is, you know, the NFL It's coming up, man. It's a, a few Football. months away. Still, man, we're going to try to do some big things mm-hmm. during that era as well first, this you know, season. Games, August 1st. Mm. First preseason game, Hall of Fame game. Mm. And we're through the great bonds y'all actually going to be attending. Yes, my yeah, Falcons the, will be a part of the, uh, the Hall of Fame game. I don't know who we are playing, but we'll be making that. Not too worried about preseason. Yeah, me either. No. But um, back to the... So what these boys are saying is if you are interested in fantasy football, <laughs> go ahead and start putting your entries in. All you got to do is hit the real news message button and just get an entry. Message <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> button. All right, so the football season is right back around the corner. Of course, fantasy football too, man. We're doing it big like we did last year, but this year we're trying to get two fantasy football leagues ran by the Real News Group, Just Airwaves, all that. You know, it's one big brand we're trying to build. But we're trying to run two fantasy football leagues. Uh, We got a a recurring league from last year, so it's a possibility that that league is already full if everybody wants to come back. You know, you never know. Some people might, you know, might not want to do it this year. Might want to switch it up a little bit. You never know, but we are back. So if you're checking this video out, if you're seeing this clip, wherever you are, um, if you're trying to just get in the Fantasy Football League, of course, for some money, um, just hit us in the message board, you know, just um, DM whatever, comment, just ask us what's up, right, see how you know. can get involved if you're interested, because it's... You can make another league, it's nothing. If you, if you, if you yeah. know about it, then it's, it's, it's super fun. If you're good at it, then it's, you know, it's not going to be bad Don't for you. you. It's going to work out for you in the end, so... Come have some fun. We had a lot of fun last year. You know, we was on the message boards. We was talking to talking each other. Smack, it was it was a good time, definitely. Um, so just let us know. Um, we bridging that into the um, sports. A little bit short one for the day. We're just going to congratulate the U.S. women's soccer team on the Ladies. World Cup victory. The, um, nobody else going to clap? No. Nope. clap of the week. No congratulations. I thought we just, you know. Two World Cup victories back to in back. a row, back to back, um, every four years. So that's a huge accomplishment. Nick. Probably one of the best teams ever. They scored the most goals in tournament history yeah. in one tournament. So they just never trailed in the tournament at all. They just did the thing. They just you know, dominated it was, it from was, start to finish. Yeah, it was an amazing run. Glad, um, glad we got to see it. Happy, happy, happy. You know, go USA. Always, always. Um, they're not attending the White House. That was a big controversy, but they pretty much announced that before they won. They caught a lot of flack for that, but you know, you know, hate. but a lot of hate, and then they won. So all the hate is, it's no hate. It's you know what I'm saying. It's all it's love. All love. And it's got to be all love because they, they did they, what they had they, to do. They knew what they were gonna do, so they knew they didn't want to do that in the end. So that yeah. was that was pretty cool, and that's that's um, confidence. That's definitely just confidence. You're just talking about. You know what you're gonna do at the end before you even get, get to it. it. So, but man, what you got for him, Alex? That being said, man, um, actually the ladies should just be paid more. You know what I'm saying? They should just get a pay raise. They bringing money into the whole country, and people are tuning in to watch these ladies win. Definitely buying so. jerseys, you know, tickets, all that. Right, so right, right. They definitely some bread is being made off of them, and they're winning. So, big time. Yeah. The um the I mean I haven't looked at the numbers, but I'm sure they're bringing in uh, equal money to maybe the men's um, team. You know that's basically the main factor. If the money is equal, then the pay should be equal. That's 
simple enough, you know, we don't have to even talk about emotions. Let's just talk about dollars, which is always simple to That's everybody. What it, what it Numbers is very simple to everybody. So um, I'm sure they got a bonus somehow for the World Cup victory. So I don't know how it works, but if they're making... Hopefully they're getting a little bit, you know, if more they're, than what they're... If they're doing. bringing in the same amount of money to the country, then, you know, they should get paid the same. That only makes sense. But, you know, we know how things work in... You know, all around the world still actually. So it's not just America, but you know, all around the world. So it's um, we 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 always everybody's fighting to get equal for everybody, races, colors, and uh, male, female, everything. You know, that's everybody still want a little better. still in on world stages. We still are looking um to just have some equality. So that's um something else to always talk about, always think about, and know that it's not. It's not actually equal and fair yet. Even though we have come a long way, uh, every country actually has come a, a long way from what right. they used to be. But, you know, definitely not all there yet. Something to think about, um, you know, as you go through life and, you know, experiences and Things all that, that good stuff. It's good, yeah. It's good, yeah. So, shoot. Before we end the show, we're going to hit y'all with the word slash quote of the day. I'll go ahead and start them off. Um, <laughs> basically, what Za, the champ, was just talking about, mm. pretty much, in order to grow, you have to adapt. Mm. So, with that being said, on your journey in life, right, mm. take action on what you want and have a chief of aim. You have that chief, chief of aim. Go all the way with it. Take I'm kind of take, yeah, I want to say take that message how you want. Piggyback off what he was saying, you know, Piggyback. you gotta take risks, then you know, to get success. You can't, you you know, you can't be in a little bubble in a little box doing little things. You gotta jump out there and do something crazy. That's the only way you're gonna really get to where you want to be is just go outside the box and just really be wild, and then you'll see everything kind of open up for you. You'll see different avenues and different things appear. Easy, nice, and simple. Um, my little word of the week is, man, just remember to have that self-confidence. Everything you do, um, try to work on that for the week, for the month. You know, everybody can improve their self-confidence at least a little bit. You know, have that faith that you're going to be able to do the next thing and um, be great at it. So um, it, that's something we do lack. I know as people, it's just a natural thing to just lack it and this, you know, not always be the proudest when you do stuff, but this week, if you're watching this, if you're seeing this, just try to have that self-confidence and um, try to boost it up. And that's what I got. Word of the week, quarter of the day. Quarter of the day. Nice. All that. All right. You heard it here first on Mother Loving Real News. Keep doing what you're doing out there. See ya. Real news. Oh, got it.